the volunteer work. Uh, what a what a great program to instill, especially in young ladies like like Abby, how important it is to be part of our community. Well, thank you so much for believing in the vision. M3 Queens is just a little over a year old, and as you mentioned, within our first year, we have completed over 1,000 appearances, and we're hoping by the end of the second year to do 2,000, so we're not giving up any goals. But our queens are guys and gals, ages 3 to 103, and there's something different for each age group. So as you'll hear from Abby, who's 8, she's our Petite Miss Cornish Christmas, and our Petite Miss Grass Valley, you'll get to hear a little bit about what she's done to serve her community and a little bit about her platform. But we're also connecting um, older ages as well. Our oldest age is 84 right now, which we're trying to get some people out in their 90s. So if there's anybody listening that's in their 90s, we would love to work with you. But one of the things that we want to do is talk about role models. And I've just got to give a shout out for Jessica. We're going to stay with first names only because she is the district attorney up a little farther north now. But she was in Nevada County for uh, at least four of the pageants. And as a role model and what she's wanting to do for the community, she has just um, loved on Abby and her sister Gabby, who are both here today, and just really making connections for all ages and, and sharing in the love for your community and sharing in the love for giving back to our amazing nonprofits. So seeing all that we accomplish from each age level and how we get out into the community, seeing this vision actually come to fruition and then having you believe in it, that we can come in uh, three Thursdays a month and share what's going on, Thank you, John. It, it is a true blessing. Well, you know, it's it just perfect for what a wonderful world because what you guys are doing both for the community and for the participants involved uh, are wonderful. And, well, thank you. And uh, you're going to have life, lifelong uh, um, effects. Don't you I think, so. Abby? Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> so, Mom, Rena, how come, uh, how, how come you got Abby hooked up with this? Uh, well, I think uh, the girls... Uh, talented on something but they're shy so I want them to be out there just to show and be comfortable around people and just how also uh, what I learned from MT Mall that they're not just showing how beautiful they are as physically but also how beautiful they are as a person Internally, and they yeah. can be impact to other people in this community helping others that in need in this community Absolutely. so we've been working together at MT Mall Salvation Army and then, and then we work in also helping with tapestry, also real life for life, and everything that we can see the need that we can working together to help this community. Absolutely. So, Abby, tell us a little bit about yourself. You're eight years old, and you're going to be in fourth grade at uh, Pleasant Valley School. Yeah, my sister's name is Gabby. She's going to be in first grade, and. Um, Sorry about that noise. <laughs> Both of my parents are in the Salvation Army, and they work hard. I bet they do. Uh, Hi. <laughs> Hi, Gabby. How are you, honey? Good. <laughs> good. And you're six years old, huh? Mm-hmm. Oh, good for you. So, um, what kind of talents do you have? I hear you can uh, recite the Pledge of Allegiance pretty well, right? Yeah, I also like to sing at home sometimes. Do you? Maybe in the shower. Or sing it in the shower. <laughs> I just want to. Everybody loves to sing in the shower where they think nobody hears them, right? Sometimes when I'm just in a singing mood, I just let it out. Do you? Yeah. What kind of songs do you like to sing? Eh, anything that comes on my mind. Oh, yeah? She's pretty good yeah. at dancing. Yeah, she, she's good at dancing? Yeah. How about you, How about you, Gabby? Can you dance? She's You're great at it, yeah. Is she? Yeah. yeah, good. Okay, so let's talk about the experience you've had. You've been in how many pageants? Two? 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 I've been okay. Two yeah. And what was that like for you? I had a lot of fun. I liked watching the talents and I liked um, being on stage. Did you? <laughs> Were you scared at first? Yes. Yes? And how did you get over that? about the positive things. There you go. That's good answer. Accentuate the positive. <laughs> Eliminate the negative. I think that's a song, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we'll croon a tune here in a little bit, huh? <laughs> but um, 
Okay, so you're in fourth grade, and um, what do you like about school? I like art. <laughs> do you? Yeah. I like playing with pastels, and I like painting. Well, judging from your tank top and your nails, your fingernails, <laughs> yeah. I can tell you're artistic already. <laughs> Quite lovely. So how do you like Grass Valley? I like it a lot. Good. I went on a field trip to the Empire Mine. That's a pretty special place. Which I heard got a lot of gold. Yeah. Kind of <laughs> kind of way down there deep in the earth, though. I like how it just melts down. <laughs> Do you like Grass Valley? So what's the experience been like for you with uh, with all the appearances you guys have made? I know you, uh, Melissa was telling us you went to uh, Hilltop. Uh, which is a retirement community. Lots of folks who uh, are older, but they love seeing kids come in. I've been there. I'm there a lot. I'm there every Friday, and uh, I've seen kids groups come in and sing in the in the uh, residence there. Just love seeing you guys. So, did you feel that love? Yes. <laughs> Good. What'd you do when you were there? Um. Well, it was Easter time. Oh. Okay. And we had little Easter baskets oh. with homemade goodies that we gave out to the residents. So I, each yeah. girl did that. What did you have, Abby, that you gave out? I think I gave some cards. Yeah, I made cards and then gave them out. <laughs> so they were handmade by you? Yeah. Good for you. Were they pretty and artistic like you like to be? My grandpa makes a lot of artistic cards for me when it's either a birthday or a holiday. Good, good. So did your grandpa come see you in your uh, in your competition? No, because he lives in Arizona. Oh, he lives in yeah. Arizona. Okay. But mom and dad were there supporting you? Yeah. And, of course, Gabby was there cheering you on? Yes. You? <laughs> Good for you, Gabby. All right, Dave, I guess we'll take our first break since uh, we need to take two today. My guests are uh, Abby and Gabby and uh, Re- Raina, Raina <laughs> Salcedo. Uh, Melissa Missler with M3 Mall Pageant Program, and uh, we're talking about what a wonderful world it is. And Dave, thank you for great seeing you. Love coming in here once in a while and being able to look at you going to work over there. And welcome back, everybody, to uh, What a Wonderful World. Love that song. And we are in the studio. Uh, we're talking uh, M3 Mall Pageant. We've got uh, one of the younger young ladies in here, uh, Abby. And uh, Salcedo and her mom, Marina, and her little sister, Gabby, along with Melissa Missler, who's organized this whole thing and uh, turning out to be quite the success, uh, judging from the number of volunteer appearances that they've made. And uh, Melissa, I know we do you do a lot of different things, uh, <laughs> one, one, one of which just is, just you. <laughs> yeah, Relay for Life was a big one, just happened uh, back the uh, first part of uh, June, and uh, um, it was kind of a rebirth of, of that event because it kind of faded away. Um, I know Sue Hudson, who formerly was here and now is at Hilltop, uh, um, it, it started the whole thing, uh, brought KNCO into it big time way, way back. And uh, it was uh, big for quite a while and then kind of fizzled away. But uh, thanks to you and your queens and the people in Sacramento, it's it's back in our community. And how did, how did the whole thing go? Relay for Life really went well. There's just such a misconception that the money raised is not staying local. I'm not sure where that started, but the money does stay local in so many programs. And then research is research. We're not going to hide research from Nevada County. (laughs) You know, so um, really trying to get the word out about where the money goes was really our first major hurdle. And your help by allowing us to be on the radio on a regular basis to explain the different services made just a real big difference in that but between um looking at the different years just three years ago there was no event two years ago it was a six hour event you know and so then this year it was a 12 12 hour hour event event. Mm -hmm. so right now we're actually considering um can we possibly pull it off to get back to 24 hours so we're already meeting for relay for life um, for and looking next at, mm-hmm. at next year, and so we're looking at venues and what we want to do, how to continue to get the word out that the money stays local, and um, the Tapestry Network of Nevada County, those ladies, uh, our relay uh, volunteers, and then, of course, the M3 Queens did just a phenomenal job all really coming together, and Raina's entire family ended up being part of it, and so 
um, I'll let them tell you a little bit more about their experience, but we had Sid Salcedo as the official greeter parking attendant <laughs> man with the clipboard, you know, out there at 6 in the morning. And then Raina helped with registration. And then Abby got to say the Pledge of Allegiance. And then um, I think one of the most rewarding parts of Relay, I mean, there's a couple pretty amazing parts with the luminaria and, the you know, different things, but our opening ceremonies um, – Little Abby got to put medals around the necks of survivors. survivors. And it's just such a touching experience and bringing together the awareness of what survivors have gone through and how they can help those that have just been recently diagnosed. So to have somebody at the age of eight in the middle of all of that so that they can make a difference, just, you know, wow for that opportunity. Well, let's uh, let's get your opinion, Abby. What was that like for you, first of all? Being able to lead everybody in the Pledge of Allegiance, that was pretty cool, huh? Fun. <laughs> yeah, it was. And then, you know, those survivors, those are people that were diagnosed with cancer and went through whatever treatment and uh, survived, uh, and you got to put medals around their neck. That was pretty special. I got to say, it felt good putting medals around them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was really bright, though, so I had to keep looking down because it was really bright. But. Yeah. Yeah. But still, what an so experience hot. for an eight-year-old young lady to be able to meet all those people who've survived cancer and um, give a lot of hope to a lot of other people. Yeah. And, yeah. Raina, what was it like for the whole family? Say again? What oh, was it, it like for the whole it, family? It was good. That way they can see there's a lot of people uh, that suffer, you know, and they mm-hmm. can just be present, just smile, and just, you know, say hi because sure. you you never know. You know, just that one one word is just high. It could be change someone's life. You know, absolutely. And I think it's nice that they already started while they are young. Mm-hmm. So you know, as they getting older, they they learn more about how to appreciate life. Oh, know, absolutely. Them. Yeah. And to take care of yourself, to yes. be healthy, <laughs> yeah. to eat healthy, right? Yes. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> and especially be a good girl and a good student. That's really important, right? Yeah. Right. It's <laughs> <laughs> a little bit shy. Yeah, I <laughs> guess. Well, which is one of the reasons you wanted, uh, and I assume Raina's going to, or not Raina, you're Raina. Um, Gabby's <laughs> going to be involved too at some point? Probably. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, she seems yeah. to have the, uh, what it takes to get in front of a <laughs> microphone. Yeah, I yeah. can tell. So what was so neat is um, Sid was actually, as the dad, um, father, you know, husband, was really the one who really suggested let's get the girls involved. Oh, okay. I mean, so it came from, it came from a dad. Yeah. yeah, good for him. So we don't hear from too many of our dads. But <laughs> he was, he's been yeah. so involved in, you know, being out there at Relay as well and getting the gals. And at the Cornish Christmas pageant, he actually also served as our DJ during the pageant. <laughs> so go him. Sid. Yeah, I that. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah. 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 Hey, Dad, if you're listening to me, aren't I awesome? (laughs) (laughs) That girl. (laughs) Oh, yeah, she's shy. Yeah, (laughs) yeah, she's shy. So she's going out for cheerleading now? Yeah, I think so. (laughs) Maybe. I don't know. (laughs) So uh, your mom and dad run the Salvation Army, and the uh, bell ringing during the holidays is a real important part of that. And uh, I know the uh, M3 um, Mall Queens... um, participate in that and raised about i think i recall three thousand some odd dollars yeah. yeah and were you out there ringing uh-huh i was a couple days yeah was she yeah it, it was too cold last year for her but she has to go out there <laughs> <laughs> you did, did it, it. at yeah, a girl a where, days, yeah did the people uh, like seeing you there being a bell ringer being mm-hmm. such a young lady yes did they <laughs> you think they got a little more generous because you're so cute I bet they were. (laughs) So um, other appearances that uh, you guys take part in, I know you're part of parades, the, uh, um, what what, what parades, Melissa, I'm at a loss right now. We were in the Mardi Gras parade. Mardi Gras, there, okay, and, and we got Constitution Day coming up. We got out. Constitution coming Fourth up. Fourth of July mm-hmm. just passed. And I actually just picked up our award from Nevada City, a very nice plaque for Fourth of July. We won Best Car, so hey. who, knew? who <laughs> knew? Yeah, so we just picked up a really nice plaque for um. So big shout out to the Nevada City Chamber of Commerce, yeah, not Kathy only for Whittlesey. hosting that, Absolutely. but for giving us a plaque, right? 
But um, something else that has really worked well with the combination, each of our um, contestants, we call them delegates, have to pick a platform. And so okay. it made sense for Abby to pick Salvation Army as her platform because she's already so involved in it. Mm-hmm. And so it really has been a unique marriage between M3 Queens and Salvation Army. Sid has brought me on um, and invited me to be part of the advisory board for Salvation Army. So that has come out of this experience that I'm now part of that. Yes. And then vice versa, they just had a volunteer appreciation luncheon and M3 Queens, Jessica saying the national anthem felicia who was our talent winner came up from sacramento to perform a dance ellen dial gave her oh. comedic routine okay. and now then she clean up her act it was absolutely okay. rated g Good. she okay. did Good. awesome Good. and we then they invited me to be one of the speakers and so m3 queens was a big part of the recent volunteer appreciation that Raina just put on And we're now planning our kickoff for Salvation Army. And where else do you think we're going to have it? Let me guess. Hmm. Foothill Event Center. Yes. So we just love Marty Caldwell and her giving heart. And so the Salvation Army kickoff for the Kettle um, Ringing Fundraiser that's coming up this Christmas will be at Marty Caldwell's Foothills Event Center. And that's going to be on Thursday, November 17th from 7.30 to 9 a.m., and this is the first year that they are selling tickets to the event um, to try and start the fundraising a little bit early, so things are a little bit different. So businesses can buy a table for $100, or an individual can just buy a seat for $15, and breakfast will be provided with that. And again, when we're talking about the money staying local, I'd love to hear from Raina because I think the percentages and information is good. Okay, we'll do that. Uh, We have to take one more break, Raina, but when we come back, we'll talk about that. So uh, thank you, Melissa, Abby, Raina, and Gabby. What a house full. And thank you all for listening. We'll be back in just a couple minutes. Uh, Our final segment for uh, this uh, warmish Thursday. Hot out there, Dave. Bet it's a little warm down in Marysville, huh? Yeah. Yeah. But relief is on the way. So, uh, yeah, October will get here soon yeah, enough. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Again, my guests are uh, Melissa Missler with M3 Mall and uh, the uh, organizer of this uh, M3 Mall Queen program, and um, Raina Salcedo and her two lovely daughters, uh, Abby and uh, Gabby. And uh, I guess uh, Gabby was appropriately named. She is kind of a Gabby, huh? Gabriella. Gabriella, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, now, one of the things the uh, show we did, I think it was last Thursday was with Melissa um, Agnes Agnes <laughs> and uh, Ronnie Warmerdam about the uh, Save by Second Base tournament, which you guys were intimately involved in. I don't know. Did the girls get out there for that at all? No. No? no. Okay. So this was, a, this was a fundraiser to raise money for um, uninsured and underinsured women to get uh, mammograms. And okay. uh, what a great lesson for yeah. all the women involved in, um, in the pageant program. How did it go? It went wonderful. Ronnie just is an amazing event coordinator. So the details, the pink chalk, the little misters that were out there, and then all of the prizes for getting to, you know, second base with Mm -hmm. with your hit. I mean, she just did a phenomenal job. M3 Queens was very involved in getting the raffle prizes, working uh, raffle tickets all day long. I mean, so the Queens were involved for a month prior to the event to try and help out a little bit. So right now we stand at about $8,000 that has been raised. Last year was 10000 so we're a little below, but it's not too late to donate. And one of the w- ways that we earned more money last year than this year is we had pre-donations where people donated the propane, the ice, the you know different items sure. that we sold. So we didn't secure those donations this year. So if somebody just wants to donate cash, there is a website, and it's W N C S S A dot com. And when you get there, you can just click on the S B two B 2016, which stands for Save by Second Base. So it is not too late to donate. Okay. Um, and we're still kind of figuring out some money. We'll be presenting that check and have the exact number very soon. Okay. But the um, fifth year in a row, the C Cup, which is the biggest award, did go to the team half and half. All right. Well, 
Sounds like uh, we got some music going here. We got about 30 seconds left. I want to thank you, honey. You were uh, awesome, and Raina for bringing your lovely daughters thank you in. Thank you very much. But especially for your your commitment, Abby. It's a great thing to learn at eight years old to uh, be able to give back to your community. And your mom and dad are great examples of that as well with the work they do for Salvation Army. So uh, big add a girl to you, and uh, <laughs> Gabrielle add a girl to you too, honey. Good luck oh, in I first grade. You added a girl. Something. Well, you did a great job. Something. Dave, uh, thank you so much. And thank, thank you all you. for listening. We'll bye. see you tomorrow. Thank you for having me. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>